This has been argued over, and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal at any rate. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just a legend. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. Strive for perfection, and the Force shall reward you. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it, and it shall serve you well. You must impress Master Utha. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The Code of the Sith is the easiest way to start. I have told you all that you need to know of it already. There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where, exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith, and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. About myself, I am originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? Very little. I never met her personally, though I hear she was a powerful woman. Very charismatic. In the end, Revan was outshone by her pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead woman of importance to you? Is there any reason I should? Beside the fact I did not know Revan in life, Revan was known for wearing a full helmet and cape. Perhaps Revan's body had been disfigured by the power of the Force. It is not unheard of. Regardless, I doubt I shall be meeting Revan any time soon. Both Revan and Malak came to Korriban when they discovered the tomb of Nagasato. That was before my time. Fair enough. I did. I also said that you didn't... I see. Very well. I suppose there's no harm in the tale. As I said, I was originally a slave to one of the Huts. The Huts control everything on Sleheron, and a slave is nothing to them. I was determined not to be nothing. One night when the drunken worm had me alone in his chambers, I stabbed him and escaped the compound. I stole onto a cargo ship and was not discovered by the crew until they reached the next system. They left me for dead on a desolate planetoid, alone. But that was fine by me. I was glad to be anywhere other than Slayeron. It was not luck that I was eventually rescued, of course. The Force was strong with me, though I didn't know that at the time. Not until the Jedi told me, that is. I'd rather not discuss it. 
Perhaps another time. Is there something else you needed? I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar, no. It is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith. Why they were on Korriban and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. As you wish. I would prefer not to discuss that. Why? There is no point. Have I asked you about your past? You have odd notions for someone hoping to become a Sith. Let's see. After escaping from Slayron, I was found by the Jedi. They took me in and trained me, even though I was a bit older than most Padawan. Not really, no. I never progressed beyond Padawan. I had discipline, but no peace. And after my treatment at the hands of the Huts, there was little room in me for the ways of the Jedi. You sound very much like someone I used to know. Yes, well, I imagine I am not unique. Things very easily could have been very different for me. I wanted to use the Force to free the other slaves I knew, to fight for what I knew was right. The Jedi restrained me until I couldn't stand it anymore. They claim the dark side is evil. But that isn't so. Sometimes anger and hatred are so deserved and right. Sometimes things change because of it. Any failure to get the results I want is due to a lack of power on my part. That can change in time. As a Sith, my metal is tested far more than when I was a Padawan. I know this may sound strange, but only my compassion stands in my way now. Once that is gone, let the slavers beware. I... yes, of course, I, I mean losing my compassion, as in holding back. But enough of that. I have talked about myself too much. Surely you are tired of it. Come back soon, my friend. Well, hopefully we helped her find her way a little bit. That was quite a bit of a, a long dialogue there, but I wanted to try and um, on it, try and get it Done. Uh, as thoroughly as possible. You know. Hello. On it. I'm gonna bash it with Done. my lightsaber. Woohoo! Cool. I'm looting the other people's room. Dude, there, it, <laughs> there is something there, and I want it. I want it! Okay, I'll try one more time. No. Okay, good enough for me. Alright, so let's continue um, doing a little bit of exploring around here. Sith Academy. Do 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 I'm going to oh man. I'm not gonna talk to you. And enough of dialogue for now. On it. Security. Done. I should have brought mission here. Ooh. Sith sniper rifle. That sounds like it can do a lot of damage. Oh, oh uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alguin. I... oh, uh, nothing? Uh, yes, my master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... you know. Uh, no. No, I, I really can't. Uh, a Sith, like you, would use any means to succeed. 
Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? No, no, I shouldn't bother you with it. Forget I said anything. I, um, eh, forget I said anything. Just go back to your training, please. I have work to do. Uh, well, good luck with your training. Oh, hello again. You... I... I'm gonna try oh. this one again. No. Ah, I... fine. Uh... Let's go around this way, Miguel.